majority of people are not successful because they prepare to quit. They have a mental program that it's okay to prepare more for quitting than preparing to succeed. And I'm gonna make my dreams a reality. Nobody gonna stop me but me. That's the only person that can understand. If you want to make your dreams a reality, you've gotta understand that you can't quit. But this is our moment, gentlemen. This right here is our moment, guys. Y'all got to think about that just for a minute, man. This right here, this moment right here, this is our moment to where we make our greatest life a reality. Right here, right now. It all starts in our mind. You got to fall back on everything that you've learned, everything that you've prepared with, every practice that we've put in. You're prepared for this right now. It's just the greatness that you've never seen before. Some of your lives, are, are, you can't imagine that you could ever dream like this. And you still, somewhere deep down inside, are doubting yourself. But remember, gentlemen, that's the old you you go fight. That old you is not ready to give up. That old you is ready to say, you are all that you are right now. Don't try nothing different. Just do what you've been doing. That's what it's going to fight with. And guess what? It's not going to come easy. I told y'all it's going to be the greatest fight that you've ever had in your life. But you're prepared for it, gentlemen. I don't come in here having y'all practice for Pop Warner. I don't come in here ready to have you all practice and play against some high school team, or some college team. I'm preparing you all week after week to face down Ray Lewis. Right, the old you that you're gonna face soon as you get out that gate that's gonna try to knock the knock your block off, that's gonna try to knock the wind out of you, is like Ray Lewis, one of the most menacing and the most devastating defensive players to ever play in the league. I prepare you to fight greatness. I'm not preparing you for nothing weak, gentlemen. That's why I come in here enthusiastic every week. And that's why I have you right to your hands hurt. And that's why I hold you accountable week after week after week. Because guess what? That old you is not going to take no for an answer. You got to knock his block off. You got to sit him dead on his line. You got to run straight through him. That's what I prepare you for every week. You don't prepare for victory by practicing to go around Ray Lewis. You prepare for victory by practicing to go through Ray Lewis. Anybody that's new in here, I want you to understand one thing. Every week, I'm preparing you not to go around your challenges. I'm preparing you to go through them. In this moment, right here, right now, gentlemen, this is where you get in the face of greatness. And you sit up here and you tell yourself, nose to nose, that this moment, right here, right now, I will not lose. Not today, not next week, not next month, not next year. Guess what, baby? We're getting victories over and over and over and over. We're going to make dynasties out of our life, baby. We're not losing. This is our moment right here, right now. Goliath fell and lost his head because of a boy, a sling, and a smooth rock. He had know-how and he had the desire to win. Don't quit. Don't quit on yourself and don't quit on me. I'm telling you, I don't care what you're going through right now. Don't give up. I don't care how dark, how bad, how hopeless you feel your life is right now. Don't quit. Don't you quit. Don't you give up. I don't care if you've been writing people and you haven't had a correspondence back yet. Don't quit. I don't care if you've been calling people and, and you know, your mom, your dad, your girlfriend, now all of a sudden they don't accept your phone calls. Don't quit on yourself. When you get outside this gate, guess what? And then people tell you no at that job interview, and you hear no again, and you hear no again, and you hear no again. Don't quit. Don't quit. I don't care what somebody may call you. They may call you drug addict, crackhead, drunk, alcoholic, thug, felon, criminal, inmate, no good, low down, worthless drug dealer, mugger, minister society, waste of taxpayer dollars. I don't 
care what people may call you. Make sure a person cannot call you a quitter.